my channel. I know it's been a while and I'm really sorry for the lack of videos. There's just been some personal stuff that's been going on. I've been kind of dealing with a lot of stuff and yeah, plus my kids just went back to school and that's been crazy all on it by itself. I'm here today to give you this look. I'm really excited how it turned out. I used the Too Faced Night, uh, Natural at Night palette. Beautiful colors. I absolutely love this palette. It's definitely an old, old palette. Too Faced. This palette's been around for a while. Um, through Too Faced, but I still love it. I still love this palette, and I love how this look turned out. But if you're interested on how I got this eye look, please stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you. Alright, so I'm going to be going into this palette right here, which is the Too Faced Natural at Night palette. I love this palette. I don't use it enough. I don't grab it enough. Oh, it's so pretty, though. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is, oh, let's see, going in with a transition color. This is the Too Faced uh, the Little Black Book of Bronzers. Um, the only reason why I'm using this is because I can't find my little thing of the Chocolate Soleil that I normally use for my crease color or transition color. I'm just going to be dipping into, you know, the one that I use all the time. This is just Chocolate Soleil Medium to Deep is what it is. I'm just going to be picking that up and putting this in my crease using the Luxie Tapered blending at 205 and all products that are listed or talked about will be down below just letting you guys know just in case you're interested and don't want to have to run through the video again I'm just loading this into my crease just to have a good way for my shadows to blend out seamlessly I'm even taking this above the crease as well because I kind of wanted that a gradient effect whenever I put my brow bone highlight on there as well. Alright, so next I'm going to go ahead and dip into the palette. So this is what it looks like. So the first color in the palette that I'm going to be going into is this Nightcap, which is this color right here. And I am going to be taking this and sticking this into the crease just to deepen the crease in just a little bit more. And I'm using the Sephora Blending or Pro Blending Large 27. I love this brush for my crease. You guys know that if you have been watching me for a while. I love, love using this brush. It just fits so perfectly in that crease. I'm going to blend that out. Okay, next on the same brush, I'm going to be going into the color Coco Star. It's just a deeper brown. Same brush, I just wiped it off. I'm going to be deepening up the crease. Just a smidge more. Um, this is just going to be mainly focused on the outer, and these shadows are so pigmented. Um, outer corner, like so, kind of blend it out, and then I'm going to drag it in just a little bit into the inner crease, and then blend it completely out. And this brown is so pigmented. I love how pigmented this brown is. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my lid color. Still debating on what I want to put on my lid. There are three different colors here that I would absolutely like to use. This one's called Full Moon. This one's called um, Night Light. And then there's also this one called Afternoon Hours, which has a lot of glitter chunks in it. But it's a little bit deeper than the other one. I think I'm going to use that one. That's the one I'm going to use. I'm just going to press and drag just a little bit on my lower lash line. I'm just patting on because it's... This will have fallout, mainly because of the glitter chunks. I try to knock off as much as I can, but it's not working. Um, I'm just going to put this in the inner half is mainly where I'm going with this color just for now. I don't want any shadow on the outer corner whatsoever. For now anyway, because that's where I'm going to layer in. Alright, so the next color that I'm going to be dipping into the palette is, I'm going to go into Eclipse, which is like a purpley kind of um, brownish color. I'm going to be putting this on a dome, like a dome shaped brush. This is just the e.l.f. contour brush for eyeshadow. I'm going to be taking that Eclipse color 
and sticking this in the inner corner of my eye to deep or not inner corner but outer corner of my eye to deepen up uh, that outer corner just a little bit packing that into the crease area I'm gonna blend that out here in a minute I'm just gonna pile that on there Okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing is going in with that um, Sephora Pro Blending Large 27 brush and just kind of blending out the edges of that color that I put in the crease just then and kind of lightly sweeping across the other shadows. Alright, so I'm going to go back in with that dome brush and I'm going to go back in with Eclipse and pack some more on that lid. I want to get this a little bit more darker. And it's looking. I'm gonna pack this a little bit harder on the lid. And I am gonna go back in with that brush and kind of blend out the harsh lines. All right, going back in with the um, eyelid color. This is the Mac. Sorry, I didn't even tell you what this was. I think this is 230. Mac 230 is just a eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna be going back in with After Hour and kind of gently blending these two colors together and then packing the rest kind of reassuring that my eyelid has enough on it I guess and then blending out just the crease area all right now that that's done I'm going to go ahead and move on to the brow bone that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and use just a kind of like a stiff uh bristles are really stiff but this is just a flat eyeshadow brush. It's from the BH Cosmetics line. Um, all the info for this stuff will be down on the bottom in the uh, down bar if you're interested in all the brushes and products I use. But I'm going to be picking um, up Spotlight, which is this color right here. It's matte, which is awesome. And I'm just going to be placing this just on the brow bone area to highlight the brow bone. And to be such a matte color... This color is just so pigmented. You kind of have to use a light hand or you'll look really yellow under your brow bone. And then I am going to go in with that fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend these colors back in. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the lower lash line. I'm going to be taking... Um, a NYX Jumbo Pencil. This is in the color, let's see if I can find the color on here. Let's see, Rocky Mountain Green. It's just a very vibrant green color, um, as you can see here. And I'm just going to be putting this on my lower lash line. And I'm also going to be dragging this onto my, into my lash line area. So we can smudge it out here a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and smudge that out. Uh, I'm going to do one eye at a time just because I don't want it to dry out. But I'm going to be going in with Moonstone right here and putting this color on the lower lash line. And kind of smudging it over that green. Get me another mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take this all the way up to I'm going to take this all the way up to my inner corner and just leaving that last little bit right there where the tear duct is I'm going to leave it um, exposed so I can put some shadow on it I'm also going to go into Night Fever, which is this bottom corner one. It's got some green flecks in it. It's a deeper tone than uh, than the color Moonshine, uh, Moonstone. And I'm just going to place this on the outer portion. That way it kind of feathers in. I'm also going to take these colors 
and stick them on the actual um, waterline area. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye roll fast. All right, so the next step that I'm gonna be doing to this makeup look is um, eyeliner. I am gonna be going in with my L'Oreal Infallible, and I know I show this in a lot of my videos, but this is my all-time favorite one. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Black is the color that I'm using, or very black, I think it is. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and give myself a cat eye with it. And I'll probably just speed this part up, because it's hard anyway. <laughs> is on and it's not exactly perfect but I can never get it perfect but that's okay because the illusion is there so I'm gonna be taking a just a black eyeliner this is from Starlux I'm gonna be using this as tight line and I'm gonna go ahead and darken up that tight line area to kind of darken up that lash line as well. Go ahead and curl them lashes and I will show you what kind of mascara that I'm gonna be using. All right, so the mascara that I'm gonna be using is the uh, L'Oreal Telescopic Shock Extensions. It's this one right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using this one right here. The one looks crazy, but I've actually been really liking this mascara here, here lately. I'm going to go ahead and use um, my trusty, uh, let's see what it is, CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. I just like this one because it doesn't transfer onto my skin. I have very long like under eye lashes and for some reason every mascara I use transfers because um, it's so oily underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and do a inner corner highlight. I'm just going to use the same palette that I was using before. I'm going to take Full Moon, which is that champagne-y style color, and I'm just going to go in with a pencil brush. This pencil brush is the MAC 219, and I'm just going to put this in the inner corner. Alright, so that inner corner color kind of became a big fail because it wasn't as bright as I was hoping it would be. So I am going to go in with a highlight color. I'm going to be going in with the Gerard Cosmetics and this one is in Maryland. Just a really pretty, just a really pretty highlight. I'm going to be taking this on that same brush, the uh, pencil brush, and I'm just going to put this right over top of that just to kind of add an extra highlight, but I kind of want it to be brighter than that. I don't know if this is going to change anything why not there's the end and then I'm also going to go in with just like a little dumb brush just to kind of blend all that out Oops, there's a lot of fallout and there's a neon for the inner corner anyway so the highlight that or the blush that I'm going to be using is I just want something that's um more on you know just flesh tones or whatever but um so that it looks a little bit more natural I'm going to be using the Clinique uh cheek pop blush and pink pop this is one of my all-time favorite blushes to use it has almost like a natural glow to it i couldn't find the brush that i wanted to use but i'm just going to use the wet and wild blush brush it's just the angled brush and i'm just going to put this on my cheeks okay so now for the highlight i'm going to just go ahead and use that same highlight color that I was using earlier for my inner eye and this is just the Gerard Cosmetics in Maryland and uh, I'm just going to put this 
where I would naturally highlight or normally highlight. Alright, for lips, I'm going to be going in with a nude lip. Is really just what I'm going to use as always. Uh, these are the two things that I like to put together. Oh, it just makes the perfect lip, I feel like. Um, I use this as a base, more or less, because honestly, I mean, it's just like too nude for my lips. Kind of makes me look a little sick. Kind of makes it just look like I'm wearing foundation on my lips. But this is just the Clinique Matte um, Soothe. melted liquid lipstick and melted dude and I'm going to be putting this one on first and then I'm gonna take the melted and I just stick this on top Yeah, this is just the final look. Um, I also gonna spray my face. This is just the NYX matte finish spray. I love this stuff. All right, so this is just the final look of what I came up with with this palette. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this wonderful tutorial. So yeah, this is the final look that I came up with, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you guys. Um, if you aren't already, please subscribe down below. I put new videos out every week. And also, hit that like button if you like this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.